I'm John Merck here with a very special guest. He is CJ Crisio. He is a state champion in singles tennis division one. He goes to Menominee Falls. How does that sound? You're a state champ. It sounds great. Um, you know, I dreamed of this, you know, for a long time, uh, and I was so happy to be able to win and get through so many tough matches along the way. I, you know, going into the season, uh, you know, I had high hopes of, you know, potentially placing, but, yeah. you know, winning it uh, really sealed the deal. Man, I'm, I'm jazzed. I'm really geeked up about this. I've been looking forward to talking to you. I have so many things I want to ask you. I want to start with asking you a little bit about tennis. When did you know CJ? that you had something special when it came to playing tennis. At what age did you know, like, yeah, I could do something yeah. like this? Yeah, I mean, you know, my dad always tells me this story that, I mean, I feel like I knew that I was special at tennis a little later along the line, honestly, once I got into high school is when I, like, you know, in middle school, I always knew I was good, but it was mm -hmm. kind of like, how good can I get, you know, because I still mm -hmm. played football and played other sports. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, I'm good, but um, where does my potential go? So I would say in high school, I figured it out. But, you know, I was, when I was young, I did this camp and, um, this uh, coach um, told me that, you know, see something special in me and, you know, so. Like how old were you, seven me. years old, yeah, ten years young, old? Yeah, you know, like eight or seven, okay. something like okay. that. And, you know, they said that, but I never knew that until later now. So. so you're obviously a very good athlete. And we've talked a lot in the past with other students about how when you become a really good athlete in one sport, there's pressure to give up the other sports, mm -hmm. to really focus on tennis could be my future. Tennis could take me places. Uh, did that happen for you? Did you, the other sports kind of fall by the wayside? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, basically what happened. I was, um, you know, I played football till seventh grade, and then, you know, eighth grade, I didn't play. And, you know, I'd played some other sports before that, too. But um, then once I stopped, um, I was, like, you know, pretty certain that I was going to play football again in high school. But then after my season freshman year, I was like, you know, it was an amazing year, and I think I'm just going to stick with tennis and, you know, see what I can do. And kind of just drop the other sports. A lot of kids play baseball and basketball and we have a big football program. What is it about tennis? What's what's special about tennis when people ask you that? Yeah, I mean, well, for my family, it's always uh, run in the family where uh, my grandpa played and then, you know, kind of passed on my mom and dad played. So when I was young, you know, they always had me play and I, you know, it always just stuck with me and, you know, I was able to get you know good at it from a young age and kind of see that I was good and that just helped me uh, wanting to keep playing obviously I enjoy playing it a lot do you still play with your mom and dad I mean you not, have to take it yeah, easy on yeah. them right <laughs> not um I mean not all the time but like occasionally I'll still play with them um, you know if we you know go up north or something and it's yeah. just you know our family up there you know me and my brother would play with my mom and dad and just you know hit around and stuff so it's still fun to get out and play with them from time to time okay you serve 10 times to your dad how many times is your dad able to return the serve <sighs> that's a good one i mean my dad's like solid you know so um yeah he taught he gave you the foundation yeah, right i mean yeah i mean i guess uh depends if, let's say if i <laughs> if i make 10 We'll say he gets, I'll give him, the, I'll say he gets six back. Wow, that's pretty good, <laughs> yeah, actually. He's, he's good, so. <laughs> so let's go to state. So we're so proud of you and, and the job that you did and that medal you're wearing around your neck yeah. is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> let's talk about state. You were the number two seed in singles, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me how the tournament unfolded. Yeah, so first round, I had a bye, so yeah. got past that round easily. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> Next round, I played um, two singles from uh, Brookfield East, um, and I was able to, you know, win that one pretty easily. Was, had he uh, had you played him before? I Were you never familiar with this game? Before, but okay. um, one of my teammates did my two singles. Needed a close match, so I was pretty confident going in the match. Yeah. I won that one six one six two, and that was my only match on Thursday. And then on Friday, um, I played in the round of sixteen. I was supposed to play the fifteen seed but I ended up playing um, an unseeded player mm. who, you know, I'd known him from outside of tennis. Um, I'd actually played his brother before in a tournament. Oh, interesting. So, so I was, you know, uh, still felt confident going into that one. Yeah. I was able to take care of business. Uh, I won 6-0, 6-3, and then in the quarterfinals was when I was really tested. And this is where, in my mind, you know, I feel like, you know, the seeding was a little hard the seven and eight seed were really good players so uh, you know it's unfortunate that we had to play them yeah um but you know i played really well in that match um got off to a, a good start won the first set six three and then mm -hmm. and then it was like from there is like the second set he was up and um i was down 
five to three, and I was down five four forty love. Came back and won the game. Wow! So like it was like I could have came back and won that set, and then I started cramping at five to five, uh. and this is where everything kind of just you know went downhill. I guess you know I had to take a medical timeout. I ended up losing the set, and then in the super tiebreaker, it was you know super close. I mean like. I couldn't move like I normally could, so it was like I had to play like a different kind of game style, try to be more aggressive. And, and he uh, knew that. He could yeah, see I mean, that. He, yeah, he knew, obviously. And I had, you know, this is one thing that I always find crazy is that uh, I remember the first point of the tiebreaker, I double faulted, and I was like, you know, I can't really bend my legs in my serve like I normally do. So I had two and points. And you played a 10? Is that yeah, what I you played, played too? Okay. So in two points, I hit underhand serve. On my Are you serious? Point. Yeah. And um, he missed them. So, like, I couldn't. Whoa. Yeah, so. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so it was, like, crazy because it was, like, in my mind, I was, like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. And I made wow. both of them and won the points both times. And then, you know. This is like a yeah. movie scene. Yeah, this I is know, crazy. Like, and that was earlier in the tiebreaker. And then, you know, I went down 8-5 and was just able to work my wow. way back. Went up 9-8. And then we switched sides. And then when we switched sides, you know, I was on the side where everyone was cheering for me. And then, um won the last two points and made wow. it to the semis. So, yeah, that was a crazy match. Did you feel after that like you had momentum? Is yes, momentum a real sure. thing in yeah, sports? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, that match was kind of like, I remember I went down 8-5 to five and I kind of thought to myself, like, like I, I can't lose this match. Like, I got to win this one. Because I knew, you know, like, I knew if I won this match, like, that, like, I was not, in, like, set to win the tournament, but, like, yeah. I was just, like, feeling so good. I was playing really well. And... I literally saw on the court next to me the one seed lose before my match ended. So in my mind, I'm like, wow, because doors I, open. Yeah, I'm like, doors open. Like, you know, I just got to get through this match and then I can, uh, you know, do good tomorrow. And I was just, you know, able to keep battling. And then I was able to get through that. And then after I won that match, you know, I had a pretty good feeling that the tournament was mm -hmm. going to go my way. But So the yeah. semifinals, you make it through the mm -hmm. semifinals? Yep, semifinals, uh, I played the three seed. Um, okay. I never played him in like high school tennis before. Um, played him in USTA. Um, so you were familiar with yeah, him a little so bit. Yeah, so I lost him before when we played. I mean, it was a while ago, but you know, yeah. still um, a lot of players in you know state that I in the semis and finals I'd never beaten these guys who I played before. You know, and wow. I played them you know a couple times maybe over the years. Did so. you feel like you were peaking? But yeah, I mean, no, I felt like you know confident and um, yep. like you know this is my time. And then in the semis, I won. Um, Six four six three, and we had a lot of like close deuce games, mm -hmm. but you know not quite as you know mm -hmm. nail biting as my other matches. And then um, in the final, I uh, played real well too. Um, and you played a kid from Union Grove, yeah, right? From Union Grove, so he had upset the one seed, so he was yep. probably feeling pretty good going yep. into the final too. So we definitely both were riding momentum high. Um, I played a really strong first set and. Honestly, you know, I kind of told myself, you know, in the back of my mind, you know, if you get the first set, you know, if you cramp in the second, you can always just win in the super. So <laughs> it's like, I just got to really focus for this set. So, you know, I won the first set 6-3, and I was feeling great, you know, I was serving really well. And then um, in the second set, I was up, you know, a break early. Mm -hmm. And in this one, it was like, my cramping wasn't as bad in this match, um, but mm -hmm. there was one moment where you know I cramped a little bit in the second mm -hmm. set, so I did take a medical timeout when I was up four to three, and then you know it ended up like going away later. But you know I think it affected me at least a little bit. You know I feel like after that I was just more tired, more you know yeah. gas. So I was I was up five to three in the second set and um, never had any uh, championship points then. And then he went up six five. And then I made it 6-6, six, six, wow. and it went to a tiebreaker. So I was like, all right, first to seven, yep. you know, let's close it out right here. And I went up five to three in the tiebreaker, and then I lost four in a row to lose the set. So Holy cow. Like, so I was like, you know, wow. it was like, honestly, you know, some people would say I choked the set, you know, up five to three, you know, how could I lose? But, it, you know, in my mind, I was like, I just had to kind of, you know, wipe that set, be like, all yeah. right, it's fine, you know, just 10 points. Um, and the super, I was only down really in the beginning. I went down four to two, so we switched sides at four two, and then I was kind of just able to, you know, dig deep and really mm -hmm. find it. And then I went on a run. I was up seven to four, so I won five in a row. And then we switched wow. sides at seven five, and then I went up nine to five, and then made everyone nervous and lost the first two championship <laughs> points. And then at nine to seven, I was finally able to close it out. Luckily, missed a 
shot early in the rally, so I didn't have to work too much. But I mean, man, congratulations! Yeah, That's was, fantastic. Um, That's crazy. When you're out there, I met your mom, and she's lovely. Can you hear your mom? CJ, let's go! <laughs> can you can you hear your mom, or do you block everything out? Do yeah, you like I mean, block like, it out? I feel like for sure. I mean, like after the points, um, you know, I'm gonna hear you know the crowd cheer and stuff like that. And I mean. It kind of depends. I block out, you know, what I want to block out and yeah. hear what I want to hear. So it's, you know, yeah. if I'm winning the point, I want to hear the crowd cheering for me. You know, if I lose the point or, you know, something happens, and I'm just going to try to tune it out the best I can. So the superintendent and I talk often about how important it is to have things in the school district for kids to do besides in the classroom. Yeah. You excel at tennis. Whether it's tennis, drama, music, how important is it that kids find something that they are passionate about? I think it's really important. I mean, you know, I can't really imagine uh, my life without tennis. You know, it's a big part of me and, you know, who I am. And, um, you know, I do it all the time. So it's really important. I think, you know, it's good for everyone to find something that they can do, you know, outside of school just to keep them, you know, happy, entertained, busy, you know, mm -hmm. just a good thing to do. You can meet new people. So it's great. For sure. How much of a blessing is it to be in the Menominee Falls School District and have the support system and the opportunities that you have? Yeah, I mean, it's great, um, you know, at Menominee Falls, you know, I uh, like everybody here and, um, you know, wouldn't want to go to another school and, you know, super happy to win it for Falls, so. What do you say to young tennis players or young actors or other people that have a dream but they don't know how to pursue it or they're kind of nervous? Yeah, I mean, I would just say, you know, be confident and believe in yourself and, you know, trust that you know you'll be ready you know when it's your time and you know as younger like I said you know I wasn't winning I wasn't beating all these people when I'm younger but now that mm -hmm. I've gotten older and I've gotten better now I'm starting to win so it's you know sometimes it takes time and you know it takes a lot of hard work but you know just keep believing in yourself and you know you can accomplish anything all right so you have another year here you're gonna defend your title you're gonna be a two-time champion when this is all yeah, said and done that's, that's the goal <laughs> Will you play tennis in college? What are your kind of your broad goals? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to play in college. Um, you know, I was telling you about I looked into a couple schools. Um, yeah. You know, I still got to still got to figure it out, you know, um, for the most part. But, you know, I'm hoping to play somewhere, um, you know, trying to go to a bigger school. So, you know, we'll see. Hopefully mm -hmm. um, winning the state title can help. And, uh, you know. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I saw the pictures of you on the podium. You looked comfortable. You look like you belong there. <laughs> yeah. You've got the medal around your neck. How good's that medal medal feel? Uh, it feels feels great. I mean, you know, every time, you know, it's just in my room, so you know, I can just go and look <laughs> at it if I want. It looks uh, good on you. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, it just feels great to have won, and yeah. Man, we are super proud of you, CJ Crisio, the first D1 state champion in tennis singles for the Falls. This is incredible stuff. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.